Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, we appreciate you joining us on this edition of this day. My first question to you is, if you've seen what's going on within the patriotic front, and you know this is in relation to the chaos that's happening in your party over the last few days, and I believe that you've seen uh, the videos that have emerged from your secretariat, and I'd like to find out from you what your thoughts are on this. Well, I'm not 100% uh, preview, but uh, I've seen bits and pieces. I've been aware. I was uh, in Rwanda, Angola for parliamentary duties, and I'm on my way back. I'm in South Africa now, and uh, coming back uh, tomorrow. So I've seen online, uh, to some extent, the answer is yes, I'm aware of what's going on. It's one world now, whatever is happening anywhere in the world, one is able to see virtually online and on social media. Would you also say that you are aware that the chaos that's taking place at the moment, the chaos that's been taking place over the last few days, is as a result of a general conference that you held here in Lusaka on the 24th of October? One can say so, yes. I gather there were people who are not happy with, with the general conference, but there are people who are very happy with the general conference. It's normal in a democratic dispensation. That's very true. And it's also true that in a democratic space, people will argue about certain decisions, decisions including the decision made at that general conference. And this time, the people that criticize this general conference and you criticize you and that general conference on the basis that it was not procedural and there was no basis on, it, on which it was going to be held. Uh, and so they are saying that the general conference should have never happened because procedure was simply not followed. I think that's the problem we have as Zambians. Everyone likes to appoint themselves as spokesperson for people. Zambia has 20 million people. Uh, the PF has over four or five million uh, supporters. So when one individual speaks, it doesn't mean it's the people. And I've seen all over, uh, especially your uh, news uh, dam on TV, you liked this headline. It's okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a pre-world. But you like these headlines. PF leadership says Mao Samba is suspended. PF leadership says Mao Samba is expelled. If Nakachinda says, is that leadership? One person says, uh, no, it's very important to court the correct people, to court the people with the authority to speak on behalf of Dam on TV, to speak on behalf of... Uh, uh, Zambia, to speak on behalf of the parliament, to speak on behalf of the patriotic front. So you don't just quote anybody and say the PF said. No, any general election, uh, there are people who say you need to quote them properly and decide whether they have the local standard to speak uh, on behalf of uh, anybody. No, the other people who say that the elections went very well and they followed every procedure. I can quote them as well. So the people are saying that the general conference that took place did everything correctly according to the constitution of the PF. The PF constitution says that for a general conference to happen, five years must elapse. But it does go further to say that an extraordinary conference can be called. And this is based on eventualities and possible happenings and this extraordinary conference to be legitimate, to be a recognized general conference, must be attended by all members of the National Council. This general conference that you held here in Lusaka did not have all members of the National Council. So why is it being considered a legal general conference when it clearly doesn't go with what your constitution says. First of all, you, Jonah, you were not there. How do you know that it didn't have all those people? One. Secondly, that's the issue in the courts. Uh, so you need to be careful that we are not peddling on matters that are in the court. We can be signed for contempt. You people don't seem to fear contempt of court. Me, I fear it. 
you can be jailed by the judge. If a matter is awaiting adjudicating and the judge is still yet to preside on it and make decision, we are not allowed to talk about it. Mr. Nakachinda has gone to court challenging my the convention or the general conference that I won. So we wait for the judge to make the decision. But I can tell you that it was all um, followed the, the PF constitution to the letter. If you wanted somebody to be there and they were not there, it doesn't mean the right people are not there. If Mr. Nakachinda Ijaka was not there, he's no longer Ijaka because we've liberated PF and we liberated it on 24th October, Independence Day of Zambia. What a day. On the day that KK Kaunda liberated Zambia from the British colony, we've also liberated the patriotic front. So if you're expecting to see Mr. Nakachinda in there, you're expecting to see Given Lubinda in there, uh, sorry, they are not PF. PF has many people from all the 10 provinces of Zambia and the owners of the party, uh, they came, they decided, and it, it's valid. The other details are matters that are in court, which you and I will, 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 will do justice to ourselves not to dwell in. Let's wait for the judge to adjudicate and determine. And we will make sure that we don't uh, evaluate whether or not the conference that you held was legal. Uh, it's rightfully the role of the court to do that. But we'll go further to evaluate exactly what happened at your conference and question some of the uh, issues that were arising, some of the issues that are arising from that general conference. And that's the reason why I will still dwell on this issue of the general conference and go on to say that a national council of the Patriotic Front must be present, and that national council composes of, and I will quote this constitution, it composes of the members of the Central Committee, members of the National Assembly, provincial secretaries, district chairmen, district secretaries, district chairmen, and committee members of the Women's and Youth Leagues, senior officers from the party's national headquarters. And these people were not present at your general conference, and they should be for it to be regarded as a legitimate general conference of the Patriotic Front. Well, how do you know they were not there? Were they there? They were not there. Were they it there? It was indoor. Were they first there? First of all, secondly, first, the people you first mentioned is the Central Committee. Don't forget that the, uh, as far as we are concerned, the PF, there's no central committee. If you want to go so much in the, I'm now only putting up a central committee. I was given the power to do so by the general conference we held. Uh, it's not, again, you have to rely on the president. That's what happened in 2006. Uh, Michael Sata, the general conference gave him the power to select so they can decide and they gave me and that's what we are composing. Uh, but if you want to go in the constitution, now just pick the first one you read. The, the central committee has to be there. There's no central. Co there was no central committee, my friend. That's the matter that is under Judge Timos Katenekwa. That's the matter that there's four contempt of court uh, filed against Lubinda. That's the matter where there's contempt of court filed against uh, Chilangwa and against Nakachinda. And uh, uh, we are waiting for, for a date to be set. The contempt are still on. There was no central committee. The same constitution of PF says a central committee should be elected, the argument that is in there. 2021, I don't know if you were at that general conference at Mulungushi. Nobody was elected. They advertised that those who want to be members of the central committee, the constitution says 27 should be elected, three should be appointed by the president. Or perhaps the president, then he appoints the SG from outside and, uh, and uh, one more person, two people. So it's 30. But the 27 needed to be elected. So before the general conference in 2021, there was an advert in the paper that anyone who wants to stand as central committee member should apply and, and pay nomination fee. I think it was 1,000 or 2,000. I applied. Many Zambians applied. Over 200 people applied. What did they do? On that day, because they knew the ministers would not be elected, so they just came with a list, just picked all the ministers and said, no, we'll just announce the list. So everybody who applied to date, they have not refunded us. That's obtaining money by false pretense. It's the same 
uh, thing they try to do. I almost said it's the same nonsense, but I want to be polite on your on your TV. The same thing they wanted to do. They made the applic they advertised in the newspaper. Anyone wants to be president of PF, it's vacant because President Lungu retired on 28th October 2021 uh, out, out of active politics. As the PF constitution, it says an extraordinary general government should be called. So they said those who want to apply, apply, you pay $10,000, 200,000 kwacha. Some were given to pay. Me, I wasn't given. I used my hard-earned money and I paid. Two years ago, to date, they kept uh, postponing. They said a day, a day comes, they say, ah, it's too cold, we're postponing. They said three months later, oh, there's a traditional ceremony. This side, we're postponing. They said the day comes, no, there is a, a, a function at uh, in Chongwe, a religious function. They had no uh, frame of mind or no uh, idea or no intention to hold it. Meanwhile, they were holding on to our money. That's one matter I'm engaging forensic audit. I must disclose now. I've written a letter today to uh, uh, an audit firm to do forensic audit on PF before I even start uh, reporting to the office uh, or start uh, uh, working. They need to show how much money came. Where did the money go? In 2021, people applied to be central community members. Where did the money go? Uh, 200,000 times 10, that's 2 million kwacha, my friend. Where did it go? So I want to see where the money went. Now, if anyone's found one thing, I'll report them to the police. This is public money. This is people's money. I hear you and I understand uh, what you're saying, but it doesn't evade the fact that uh, one of the questions I've asked here has not been answered. And it's that, uh, did you have a national, national council in attendance of your general conference that was held on the 24th of October? Did you have a national council present at this general conference? No, because that question has been given to you by Nakachinda, the hijacker. The answer, and he wants you to turn yourself into Judge Timos Katenekwa. He wants to turn you into Judge Chocho. That's the preserve of the lordship of the high court to deal with those matters. Those are the arguments they'll make in court. And my lawyers are equal to task. They'll respond. Uh, so this interview, don't make it into a high court. Make it into, otherwise... Uh, will be uh, cited for contempt of, of court. The matters are active. Otherwise, you know me, I'm, I'm very comfortable to answer any question. But if you are turning yourself into a judge in high court for a matter that is active, it's very unprofessional of you. And, and, and having been abreast at BBC, they forgot to tell you that little part, Bernard Dinky. Well, they did not forget to tell me uh, anything, Mr. Sampa, and uh, you, you can trust that I know how to do my job professionally and diligently, and you can also trust that all the questions I will ask within this interview are in the interest of the country, they are in the interest of content that is in the public domain, and uh, I would also not uh, appreciate you attacking me or attacking me because I'm not your political opponent, neither am I, am I an ally of any of your political opponents. So you can trust that what I'm doing here is asking questions in the interest of the public and all the questions that I'm going to ask here are of interest and are well informed and it is up to you to decide whether or not you're going to respond to the questions that I'm going to ask. I am happy to answer any question other than what's in the courts. I know what's in the courts. Uh, those are some of the challenges or some of the questions in the affidavit filed by the Gonga. The one who was pretending to be SG of PF Nakachinda, the hijacker. I used to call him the hijacker. Those are some of the issues he raised. My lawyers have ably responded to that, and I signed the affidavit. So those matters are in courts, and you can access the affidavit. But to discuss the merits and demerits, that would be uh, now me being a witness on a matter that is in court. So I know the law uh, uh, and well braced not to touch on matters that are in court. I don't want to be the one facing content tomorrow. I, I would like to ask you. I'm a law abiding citizen. 
Well, I would like to ask you then about the leadership of Mr. Given Lubinda, the leadership of Mr. Rafael Nakachinda, which you don't consider legitimate. You consider them hijackers and, you know, did not really feel that they should hold these offices. But it's the same group of people that you gave 200,000 kwacha to, uh, you know, handle an election within the patriotic front. You gave them this money because you believe that they would preside over this process, and yet you did not consider them legitimate. How do you reconcile this specific development? Question, uh, good question. They were caretakers. Like you give the money to the ECZ, ECZ Electoral Commission of Zambia. You, we pay them when we're standing for MP, mayor, or for president. Now, after we pay them, it's for them to conduct the elections. It's not for them to start uh, running the country or, or, or running parliament. That's what they did. They were caretakers to manage the process of election, and we paid them. The next thing was to call for election. For two years, even the ECZ, when we were going to pay them, they set the date already. We know all elections will be in two months' time. They told us, yes, you pay after in two months' time, the election will take place. It's two years now. So no, I entrusted them as caretakers as a commission for election. Then they realized, ah, let's start just running it ourselves. Uh, and they wanted to be our leaders, calling themselves positions that are not there. Acting president is not in the PF constitution. And no president, I'm president now of PF, elected president, not appointed. Then as per constitution of PF, I've appointed Mr. Morgan Ngona as my SG. If today, by any means or whatever comes, I decide to resign from PF. I'll just walk away and resign. It means Mr. Tangona, the SG starts acting. That's what the constitution says. I will not say, no, I'm appointing this one as acting president. That's that's uh, breaking the PF constitution. Um, uh, so, no, no. so when President Lungu resigned and retired from PF, uh, Davis Mila was the SG then automatically became the acting uh, president to oversee election time. And then he himself, he decided to resign. So there was nobody. Immediately, uh, the, the chairman also, Mkupa Samuel, decided to resign. So there was a huge vacuum. Immediately, we should have called the election. When Sata died, it only took three weeks. And the general conference extraordinary was called in Kabwe. So why this? When President Lungu resigned, it was taking forever. And trust me, as we came to see events that transpired the last few days, there was no intentions to have the elections. How can you resign? You, you resign today at, uh, at uh, Damon TV. I just want to go to the farm and you stay. Then after, and you're sure you are replaced in your position or oh, it's vacant. Then after a year or two years, you just walk back at Dam on TV. Ah, I've changed my mind. I've come back since you haven't replaced me yet. No, Buana. We have uh, been to school. Now uh, KK took us to free education. Even now there's free education. Those who don't want to read and understand the, what the Constitution says, they should not blame us who decide to read the Constitution. Well, or, or no... I've, I've, I've already um, looked at that thought, and if you watched the interview I had with the PF vice president, um, I think that was quite adequately asked with him. Wh whether or not his response was satisfactory is a different issue. But I will still dwell on the issue relating to the vice president of the party. I find it interesting that you completely ignore what Article 54 of your PF constitution says about this vice president, that this vice president can exercise the functions of the president in case of death or removal from office in terms of Article 53. Article 53, which talks about resignation of a, a, a party president. And I want to believe that the reasoning behind this uh, constitution and this article is the possibility, like was the case now, where the secretary general is unavailable. No, Buana, no, Buana. You are misled again by the hijackers. You are misled. That article you are quoting, 54, acting president, it's, uh, it means when the president is there, 
and then is not available. Then the acting president acts. No, okay. it says the it, way the Zambian says, constitution. No, that's not true. That, that's not true. Let me quote the constitution so you could hear. May, what... may, 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 oh. may, may I finish talking? Well, you, may may I finish? I, 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 you will definitely finish, but let me just quote it. It says they have told you to come and read. No, no, they Go nobody, ahead. nobody has told me that, and I don't think that's right for you to keep saying that because uh, I'm not your political opponent. I'm a professional. Doing my job, but you are insisting just... me to go your line of thought. You're not no, no, no. Uh, uh, well, the I'm region not finished. I'm quoting because you're predetermined. I'm qu I'm quoting your constitution. It says, and I quote: "The vice president yeah. shall have the following powers and duties uh, and functions to exercise the functions of president in case of death or removal from office." In terms of Article Fifty Three, Article Fifty Three is about the resignation of the president from the party. By the way, those constitution are the ones they were proposing. That's not the original constitution. Uh, the, the original constitution is what stands. Maybe they've given you a Gonga constitution. Those were proposals of the constitution. They were trying to legitimize themselves. I know the PF constitution. I was born, I joined the PF when it was formed in 2001. I've read that constitution over and over. There are many versions, but I know the original. Remember, they wanted to hold a general conference, one, uh, to change the constitution. They wanted to adopt that one that you are reading. So that they legitimize themselves. No, the original PF constitution, which I'll give you upon my return, is in the spirit of the vice president acting when delegated by the incumbents. So if the incumbent leader of PF travels to South Africa or wherever, he can, then the vice president acts. Okay, or if there's a meeting he can't attend, he can delegate the vice president. When he dies, the PF constitution makes the vice president irrelevant. The powers goes to the SG. When he resigns, the vice president is irrelevant. The powers goes to the SG. So the vice president is only as important as there is a president in place. That's the original one. The one they gave you is the Gonga one. Is a version that has never been approved anyway. And they wanted to pass it now, now, Iluka, to not go anywhere because it was meant to serve vested interests. Whenever you're changing a constitution to please a particular individual, that's the problem with Zambia and Africa. We never seem to learn from history. You know the story of how one president uh, put a law that if you are caught with a vehicle stolen from South Africa, those days those BMWs were stolen. If you are caught, then you are you go in, in jail for an unbearable offense. He was targeting somebody who, who he didn't like out there, a businessman who was dealing in stolen vehicles. And that person was arrested and died in jail. You know what? All the MPs that passed that law, that same law came to visit them. <laughs> they were all being caught here and there for stolen vehicles, and it was hard to get them bailed out. It's the same here. You don't change constitutions to fit individuals. And equally, you don't ignore provisions of the constitution to fit an individual, like they're trying to do. The, the constitution says when you resign, to come back, you need to apply. So somebody cannot just resign after two years, they come back. I'm coming back, I've come back today, and the position I last held, I'm taking it. And, and no, we had free education under KK, and we learned one or two things to understand constitution. So, uh, Jonah, uh, Jonah, uh, with due respect, uh, that constitution you're quoting was not approved. Isn't it, uh, isn't it strange, though, that in one breath you are quoting the same constitution and in another, when it's not convenient, you are not? You say that according to the constitution of the PF, members uh, of the Central Committee must be elected. But it's this constitution that says that. The precedent set in 2006 was that presidents would appoint members of the Central Committee. But you are quoting the constitution that you don't recognize no, to no, invalidate no. members of the Central Committee. No, 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 no. I need to make you understand. You know, it's like me trying to make you understand journalism. I would never succeed. You are exposed. You went to BBC. You were on, on main news. The whole world watched you. So you are experienced in that arena of journalism. Now, if you allow me and give me due respect, on matters to do with PF constitution. It's me to educate you, not you to educate me. I was talking, I didn't say to, 
I was saying 2006. You were not there. Maybe you were not born. <laughs> Maybe when you were Makite. But no, we, uh, that's uh, uh, said in jest. 2003, sat at the general conference in Kabwe. Instead of electing, the people who attended themselves passed a proposal which was seconded. They said, instead of us electing, Mr. President, we've elected you. We are giving you powers to appoint. So they gave him the powers. They were given to Sata for that period. Now, when he died, he went with those powers. As for President Ed Garungu, he needed to follow what was in the Constitution. So when we met in 2021, at the Mulungush conference, people were not even asked to pay. But for us, a week before in 2021, we paid money. So where did that money go? It was obtained by false pretense. So as it is, elections are supposed to be held for the Central Committee unless the General Conference decides that, no, they'll give you the powers to appoint like they've given me. Only the General Conference, it's the ultimate overall gathering. Once they gather, they can even change the Constitution. They can, they can even ch change any Constitution and give the powers like they did. So Very it's awesome. a special case. Let me ask you this, and I would like to, to, to get your understanding on this, and it's that if the, the political party of the Patriotic Front feels aggrieved uh, with your leadership, for example, or, or, or with anything, are they at liberty to hold a parallel general conference? Uh, uh, and, and, and I'll end just at that. And that's because I would like to understand... <laughs> the authority with which you held this general conference that elected you as president? You know the, what you are asking is, did you watch, are you into rugby? Well, not very much. I'm not a huge fan of rugby. Okay, there was, uh, there was rugby. It's a big thing. It ended South Africa won two days ago, uh, last oh. night. They beat uh, uh, New Zealand. The game ended. They won 12-11. The World Cup has ended. South Africa have won. If England wants, they can order another World Cup tomorrow. <laughs> Will it be recognized? UEFA, if, if uh, Champions League, Cup final, it's been played and the Cup lifted. They, can they go and hold another Cup final? They can hold as much as they want. Tomorrow they want, they can hold. Or another one, another convention. It's a waste of time because... The trophy has already been lifted. In Bemba, they say, Bola na ipuwa ba sende chikombe. Bola ya li ipuwa ba chikombe tu ali imia. It's finished. Kwa mana. They'll need to wait until 2026. Would it be inaccurate for people that assume that you have taken this project on as vengeance towards Edgar Lungu and his supporters based on the events, the very famous events of 2014, where something quite similar to what's happening now happened, but you were not the victor at that time. No, you, you, you started well, uh, but the, the last sentence is where you are wrong. No, I was the victor, but I was dribbled. I don't know how much interest you had then. People just need to go to Kabwe, uh, where there were uh, two parallel uh, general conference. One where President Ed Galungu won. The PF constitution says a ballot should be cast. Them, they didn't cast a ballot. They just raised their hands hey, and lifted him that he's won. And I do know most of those who were there were from intercity, were cadres. Then, uh, then the general conference that I stood in, we were over nine, uh, Simusa, Ambassador Simusa, Honorable Given Rubinda was a candidate, Honorable GBM was a candidate, Honorable Chimbakambulo was a candidate, among his others. The gathering was there. We were even given five minutes each to address the gathering. We all addressed the gathering. The elections took place, and I won by far. But the PF Constitution says you should cast the ballot. So which one was legal, the one for Edgar Lungu or the one for Ballot? I won, but they played him in Galato. Huh? They, they nyunyad me, and you, uh, it went to court. 
There was a funny ruling, uh, I remember then, by Judge Mungeni. There were constant judgments. Uh, KBF, the leader of uh, of his party now, he's no longer with PF. I met him on the on the flight the other day, and I was laughing about it. I was saying, why don't you come and do me a constant judgment? Since you did that time, we laughed about it. You know the story. They dribbled me. Jonah, they were not going to dribble me this time. I could see them, what they were trying to do. If anything, they wanted to dribble me on such as a memorial. They are such heartless people. They only remember Sata on his memorial. The rest of the year, they forget him. Anybody who they think is close to Sata, they show them hatred. Uh, and the any mention of Sata's name, then you become an enemy. Uh, they, they want his name to die. But when it's his memorial, they go there to, to show crocodile tears. That's why you don't see me going there. I, I, I observe the day on my own. Uh, so they wanted to declare President Lungu back as president at Sata's graveyard. Uh, that was the plan. So having been in this game for too long now, I've, I've, I can read just by seeing what people are doing. I saw it, and I was in South Africa. I, I have another role here. I'm a servant of the people of Matero, a servant of the people of Zambia, and a servant of the people of Africa. So I've rose to play at the Pan-African Parliament. So I was here and I watched them doing that. I said, oh, they want to do a Mingarato here. I jumped on the first flight. On 22nd, I was in, in, in Lusaka. I said, we'll pick 24 and score a goal before they score theirs. And we scored it. The net shook with Sumbri Aturika. And the game was over. But by the time they are trying to play theirs, the trophy, we've already lifted it. They taught me how to play this game. And I thank President Ed Galungo. I'm a student of Michael Sata uh, uh, School of Politics, but uh, I'm a student of President Ed Galungo Mingalato School. So uh, couldn't be dribbled twice. Let me uh, end this interview by asking you if you are at all concerned that I believe you've seen what's happening at uh, the PF Secretariat and I, I believe you've seen the opinions, the various opinions. And I'm asking you if you are concerned that this single action might bring confusion within the patriotic front and unrest between those that support you and those that don't? First of all, I mean, I even had President, first of all, President Lungu is my brother. He's my older brother. We, we, we campaigned together in Matero, he was in Chawama. We come from far. But I heard him say at the graveyard, I will not allow people to destroy this party. And I laughed to myself, who destroyed this party? He was the one who made this party lose with one million votes in 2021 when we were in power. Me, I won in Matero. And even in trying to make him win as president, I got stabbed in the back uh, because at the time he was very unpopular uh, for some reason. Um, so the party's downturn started with the loss of presidency. Okay, whatever we wanted to do as a party, you have to remain in power. Here the NC, in South Africa, there's election early next year, February or April. Whatever President Ramaphosa has to, uh, needs to do is not to make the party lose power. Uh, the people of NC will never forgive him uh, because that's the legacy of Mandela. Uh, you need to keep the button and keep it in power and passes it on to the next person when his turn is done. Uh, that's what President Lungo needed to do, keep the PF in power by whatever means. And he was the president at the time. Uh, it was shocking to see how terribly we, lo we lost. Even himself was shocked. One million votes, a ruling party, an incumbent president. I don't know the explanation, but we are told it's because of, of thuggery. So from then on, the party has been going down. People have been leaving. Some going to uh, SP, some going to other parties, some going, going to UPND. And when we're supposed to have... He even left early. I mean, one would have thought you should have held on. Uh, when you are mourning, you don't just abandon the family. Uh, we lost. Uh, we were supposed to hold hands with him. 
we cry together and we comfort each other. But within one week, Imi decided to leave the party and say, I've left, he goes and stays home and he starts collecting uh, benefits. Uh, and us, we've been suffering with the people in, in, the, in the structures. Uh, and then they call for uh, election to find a leader. So the party has had no leader, acting Chakuti, acting Chakuti. Uh, that has been dividing the party. Now we've got a leader who's elected. The idea is to bring everybody together. I've seen what was happening today. I, I am not the police. Uh, I am a law-abiding citizen. But I'll give a guideline that we need to stop chaos. We need to rebrand. Uh, we need to stop the Akawawa politics. I'll ban that weight. We need to stop thuggery. That's what made us lose. Only one thing. There are many factors, but everyone agrees it was the thugs. They became too powerful than the police because of the unruly cadres who are using the name of the party PF using the name of the president, Edgar Lungu, to commit crime. They were harassing everybody in the city. As mayor, I was abducted twice because they, oh, they accused me of not giving jobs. They accused me of having an agenda to remove them from markets, to remove them from bus station, where they were earning money. Uh, so they were unruly. And we saw it yesterday. They don't fear the police. They, they in any country where you don't fear the law, uh, men in uniform, that's anarchy. I've been to many countries in uh, in Africa. I see where there's law and order and, 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 and where there's no law and order. And Zambia, we should pride ourselves in having a country that must have law and order. Uh, so to have discipline, and, and let's make it clear, I've been informed uh, everything the, as the court rulings have gone, First, they, they obtained an injunction from Judge Chocho to say that I was, I'm not the president, and they said that I'm expelled. My lawyers worked thoroughly. We resubmitted and expressed to the judge that, first of all, Mr. Nagachinda had no local standard. He's not a legal uh, secretary general. And then the matter is in another court, and that Timos Katenek, where he's facing contempt, so judges don't like to be duped. You have to tell them the truth. So they dismissed that uh, uh, restraining order on me. And uh, uh, so when it root, when she ruled in their favor, they were clapping. When she ruled in my favor, they call her names. Um, so I'm the legal elected PF uh, president until a judge so pronounces. Otherwise, if there'll be need, uh, we submitted to the Register of Society and I've seen uh, a statement has been issued. Uh, our fingerprints we submitted. Uh, the list of uh, bearers, new office bearers, and me as president. They checked our fingerprints. They found we didn't steal anything. As I keep saying, me, I didn't go in politics to make money or do business with the government. I let ordinary people who are not politicians do that. Uh, so I don't find myself in corruption matters. The little money I made as a banker is the same one that I have, if not less. Uh, but I'm not in politics to make money. So that's how you don't find me with criminal offenses. So my fingerprints passed, and I've seen a statement that uh, our names have been accepted and the new office bearers have been changed. So President Lunga has been removed and Mao Sambaputa as president. Davis Chama has been, Mila has been removed as SG, Ngona is the SG. And the others, Lubinda has been removed. Whoever was there, and the list we gave them, we got members from all over. We got Monta, uh, Monta from Lusaka, giving the, the ordinary grassroots to be part of the ownership. Petronella, the chair lady who's been uh, in PF for years, she's also one of the office bearers, and many others. Uh, so it's done. Uh, but like in any other election, Whoever is aggrieved has the right to proceed to court. But for now, the constitution has to be obeyed and my office has to function. So I give guidelines that we don't want crowd coming to the headquarters. We have branches in the wards, offices in the wards, in the constituencies. So people should go there. It's like a bank. You don't go to the head office to withdraw money or deposit money. You go to the branch nearest you. Head office is for policy matters. Now, head office was made just a noise maker. 
taking place. So uh, I've given guidelines. Only members should come one by one. Why well, come in a group? Uh, unless they have a prior arrangement with the Secretary General for, right. for a meeting. And, and okay, I'll conclude. And the individuals who are not members, they should go, they want to join. We're encouraging everyone to join. They should go to the constituencies and join from there, not from the head office. And those and who resign, that, if hmm. they want to rejoin, they should apply in their constituency, not at the head office. So we've barred that for now. In future, maybe we may open. It's, it's a decision that's been made by the president. Thank you so much for talking to us, and uh, we appreciate you uh, joining on the show. Thank you, Jonah. Very professional. Keep it up. I was, I'm with my colleagues here from South Africa, learned people. They were listening in. When we got cut, they said, oh, he's a well-learned journalist. He's asking good questions. He's well-educated. So I said, I know him. It's true. So keep it up. Uh, you're professional. You're doing it very well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.